Hello! Sometimes, when we're building something that's really going to be great, the built in tools aren't enough. And we want to do something more than what's available out of the box. Or we just want things to be more convenient. We want it to be easier to make requests, create servers, and talk with databases. For this, modules released by other developers, or what we call third parties, are useful. After all, it's only when collaborating with others that we can get our best work done. The good news is that Node has this really, really large ecosystem of libraries, or as we call them in Node, packages. Packages are these bundles of code that we can reuse, and we can find them on this site, npmjs.com, named after the Node package manager that we use to install and create these packages. When we talk about NPM, there's two things that we might be talking about. The first is the NPMJS website and the collection of code available through it. The second is a tool that you downloaded when you installed Node. In our command line, just like we have Node that we can use to run the REPL and execute our Node code, we also have access to npm, which is also a command line tool. We use this tool to manage and work with all of our npm packages. Because npm is bundled with the node executable, it creates this centralized collection of code. If there's some code we want to reuse, we don't have to search all over the place on different websites and repositories to find it. Instead, we can look in one place for the collection of over a million packages that's available at npmjs.com. It's one of the largest collections of code in the world, and it's all completely free to use. This is one of the things that makes Node so unique and successful because so many developers use Node and create packages, sharing them freely on this site, even more developers join in, creating this healthy cycle where more developers want to use Node and contribute to it. This philosophy of sharing and open source has been central to Node's success. We get more learning materials but also more existing building blocks that we can use to build up our awesome Node applications. Say we were interested in working with a database, something like Postgres SQL. We could just look for the tool we're interested in in this search bar, so Postgres. And we get this list of all the packages that are related to our topic, giving us a huge head start in building our application. Let's learn all about what packages are and how to use NPM to add them to our projects and work with them in the coming videos. I'll see you then.